step on, 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 Really happy to be back. How are you? How was your week? Let's do a let's have a one-on-one. -on -one. How are you? How are you doing? I hope you're good. I hope your week was good. I hope you didn't let people treat you like trash. You didn't let people walk all over you. This week on Javi at Jewel, we are going to be doing my firsts. I'm just going to be telling you all my firsts. It's something that Teen Vogue does. This is going to be Teen Vogue starring Javi at my first. You get me! If you are new and you've never seen my face before, hi! Welcome to the channel! Hi, it's really nice to have you. My name is Javia. This is my channel. It's a space that is welcoming, it's accepting, we are loving, we are caring, unlike some people in the world. It's just a beautiful place to exist in right now and I'm truly happy that you are here. And if you are excited to be here and you've never seen my face before and you're like, wow, what a pretty face, what a great personality, I need to be subscribed to your channel, go ahead and subscribe. It's, I, I, I mean, I would never stop you from subscribing if that's your reason. Like, and if that's not your reason and you just like the content that I make, then subscribe. I mean, it's free. You can follow me on all my other social media, which I will link here. Let's get right into my first, shall we? The first, my first is my first word. My first word was my dad's name and it's Mbi. I would just run around the world going, Mbi, Mbi, like just calling him like that as if like he's my friend. And that's probably just because I was a real daddy's girl when I was younger. Like the definition, I didn't want to catch my mom. I would cry if my mom picked me up from school. I would cry if I was around my mom for too long. <laughs> kind of outgrew that. I'm definitely a mommy's girl now. My sister's the dad's girl, but yeah, I was a daddy's girl. So saying his words, saying his name made sense. And I also think it was a habit because my mom calls my dad like that. Do you understand? So if my mom was walking around the house going, B, B, and he was responding, I then started going, B, B, because I wanted his attention. Mom, did you hear that? I just made the connection as to why i was doing that because other kids are just calling their dad dad and i just started calling him me but it was never like me i never just me i went me like i was always screaming his name anyway so that was my first word my first cd okay now this is really embarrassing my first cd was if it's not a gospel cd okay my first actual cd is probably anything gospel i can't remember my first cd that was like for me and not for my family was excuse me a year without rain by selena gomez now if you have never heard that <laughs> if you've never heard that album you're missing out it is the best selena gomez album you've ever heard in your life it just brings you back to that time and everybody knows the song it's like a year without i don't even have to continue because if you don't know that song then you don't have a childhood i also got it at a birthday party it's in the party pack it came in the party pack i mean <laughs> Do you have friends that give you CDs in a party pack? First vacation. My first vacation was when I was two years old and I went to Cameroon to visit my grandfather. I went to Cameroon when I was younger a lot. Like, I think twice. Like, in the space of before I was 10, I went to Cameroon twice. And then after that, haven't gone back, would love to go back. But I haven't. The first rap song I memorized. Now, if you know me... If you actually know me, you know that I love rap music. And not only do I love rap music, but I also am a lyricist. And you can't fight me on it. I've been a lyricist since birth. My parents always used to tell me, like, when they picked me up from nursery school, they would get, like, new gospel CDs. And by the time we'd gotten home, I would know all the lyrics. When it comes to rap, I can't remember the first rap song I ever memorized. And if I am to think of the first rap song I ever memorized, it's probably something from like 2008. 
my first username. Now I know that I've always been consistent. I've always used my name as a username. I don't know my social media from like BBM. <laughs> I don't know what my username was on BBM. I didn't have Mixit. I didn't have Facebook, but yeah. I had Twitter and it was just my name, Javier. And then I had, no, that's all I had. So my first actual so like username was my email. And my email back then was jjmbappe at yahoo.com. I don't use that anymore, so good luck trying to get me on it. My first job, my first job was me working for my parents. I worked for my mom's company on school holidays. And like, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. that was my first job. Um, I was a secretary slash my mom's personal assistant and everybody else's personal system to a certain degree. So yeah, that was me. First time I was ever embarrassed. Okay, now I was just wow. telling my sister this. Up until the age of 13, I probably never felt embarrassment because I really thought I was cheese on toast. Like you couldn't tell me that I was not cheese on toast. So I definitely did not have an embarrassing moment before I was 13 because I did everything that I did with conviction, which is an issue because if you knew me then, you would know that everything I did was embarrassing. Everything. Which one was first? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna say it was a white civvies day and if you are American, I don't know if you guys have civvies days. We have civvies days in, this, in South Africa where we wear school uniforms. So on days where we get to wear normal clothes, it's called civvies day. Um, and I think it was Valentine's day and I wore white, all white, because I thought I was hot. It was raining that day it was at my old school, not the school I matriculated from, and they have this like muddy, grassy slope that leads down to the aftercare playground area. And I was going down there and I slid and I got my whole shorts messed and they were all white. So you can only Im imagine how embarrassed I was. So that was the first time I can remember being embarrassed. My first thought today, my first thought today was wake up and make a to-do list. Yeah. Yes, it was. It was, I need to sell these clothes. No. <laughs> My first thought of today was to make a to-do list because I needed to make sure that I had structure today so that I could do the things that I wanted to do because last night I came to the conclusion that I'm going to start selling my old clothes. So if you are here and you've never, and you haven't heard of my new Instagram venture, it's called Javier's Closet. And it's where I sell my old clothes. If you want anything, go check that out. See if you like anything. And then DM me and let me know. And it can be a trigger by the next day. So yeah, that was my first thought today. Get this money. Make this to-do list so that you can get this money. <laughs> the first person I followed on Instagram. I know that I started an Instagram account in the middle of my Afrikaans first and in grade 8. So it was probably one of my friends. Yeah. Because it was like, everybody was starting Instagram and I was like, oh, <laughs> might as well hop on the wave. So I started an Instagram in the middle of Afrikaans class. Okay, then the next question is, if I won a billion dollars, the first thing I do is, the first thing I do is get really excited and then give some to my parents and my family members and my sister. Yeah. That's the first thing I do. And then after that, we would get into more like investing and buying property and shopping and all those kind of stuff. But you don't want to know about that. <laughs> uh, the first movie I ever saw, if you know me, well, actually, I don't think most people will know this. Um, the first movie I ever saw was The Sound of Music. And if you've never watched The Sound of Music, <laughs> get your life together. That's all I have to say. It's literally the best movie you've ever seen, I've ever seen in my life. I'm a musicals person, I love musicals. They're the best! If you don't like musicals, then I don't know how we can coexist, we can try. It's not something that I say we won't be friends over, but we can, we will fight a few times. I love musicals, so The Sound of Music was the first movie I ever watched, and I watched it with my aunts, because my aunts were in love with it, and I think they were taking care of me babysitting me and they played it and I started loving it and then all I ever sang was do a dear a female dear first makeup I got for myself so the first makeup I got for myself was the Maybelline Fit Me foundation and I got it because I was recommended and I wanted to start doing makeup the 
first book I ever read. So my mom used to read to me when I would go to sleep. My mom read a lot of Bible stories to me and sometimes, yeah, I think just mostly Bible stories. But the first book I can remember reading, because before this I can't remember re reading any books, was, uh, what's that one about the guy who's like a, is it Oliver Twist? No? 30 Days Around the World. Robin Hood. Robin Hood and 30, 90 Days Around the World. Is it 90 or is it 30? I don't know. So the first books, the book, book I can remember reading is Robin Hood and Around the World in 90 Days, 30 Days, I don't know. But those are the first books I can remember reading. Before that, I didn't, I can't remember reading. My first paycheck was from my parents. Well, is that constituted a paycheck? I don't know, but the first time I got paid by someone for doing a job was from my parents. The first coffee I ever had, the first time I ever drank coffee was in 2017 and I drank it because I was trying to get skinny and I read that black coffee before you exercise is like a good pre-workout and, and, and I still know that it is because coffee is like the same as BCAAs and all that kind of stuff and it was just black coffee. Did I love it? No. I. I I didn't become in love, obsessed with coffee until I was, until about last year. My first best friend, my first best friend is, was Natasha. Natasha, I don't know if you watch my YouTube videos. And I loved her, but I couldn't pronounce her name. So I would call her Natasha. I would never say N. I I don't know why I couldn't say N. So I'd say Natasha. And our helper auntie at that time you used to always laugh at me and correct me because I'd be like, Natasha did this with me today and then she'd be like oh Javier <laughs> she'd be like oh Javier her name's Natasha I literally spoke like that <laughs> that's the end of this video thank you so much for clicking into it I hope that you enjoyed it I hope that you learned more about me we're still trying to get to know each other I'm in a new phase of my channel I'm trying to rebrand myself trying to become a better youtuber trying to become more authentically myself in front of the camera so i i'm trying stuff trying new stuff and i also want to give the new people the opportunity to know me as well because the last time i did like get to know me stuff for like when i first started my channel and it's been more than a year i hope you enjoyed it and if you did and you haven't already please subscribe why do you okay we're gonna get serious now if you are taking in my content and you're not subscribed, why? It's unfair to me and to you because then that means my next video you won't see. Um, and then follow me on Instagram. And also go check out Javier's Closet because you have to. You want to. It's been an absolute enjoyment, pleasure and excitement to bless you guys with this face, darling. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Oh. <laughs> thank you so much for watching thank you so much for watching enjoy the rest of your week and stay blessed bye